the remains were of an extinct steppe bison, a longer horned relative of the North American bison of today. An adult bull that must have died, been immersed in silt and mummified by the cold for thousands of years. Thick fat deposits found under the skin suggested that the bison did not starve to death, and deep, wide scratch marks hinted at a violent end. An Ice Age predator killed the bison. But which one? Wolves are the bison's major predators in North America today, and they were certainly around during the Ice Age. Could they have been responsible? Wolves hunt in packs, surrounding prey and gradually exhausting it through constant harrying and nipping. But there's no way they could have made these marks. What about the grizzly bear, another meat-eater that was around in prehistoric North America? The grizzly can be an impressive hunter. But during the Ice Age, there was another, even bigger bear. The giant, short-faced bear. The biggest bear that ever lived. So could a bear have made the scratch marks on the gold mine bison? Bears have long claws, but they get worn down by the daily grind, moving around and rooting for food. They're just not sharp enough to rip into the bison's hide. To solve this puzzle, we need to look to Africa. African buffalo are similar in size to the extinct steppe bison. So what is their foremost predator? The lion. Lions, unlike bears, have their claws sheathed most of the time to keep them razor sharp. But when they strike, their claws extend to get a good grip on the victim's hide. This often leaves deep gouges, just like those found on the mummified bison. And there's a second clue. The most efficient way to kill large prey is suffocation. Lions typically clamp their jaws around the victim's muzzle in a deadly bite. Our Ice Age bison had a set of puncture marks on its snout, around nine centimeters apart. The blueprint of a lion's bite. The third and final clue was found embedded in the bison's hide a tiny fragment of lion tooth. So it seems the king of the savannah once roamed the cold expanses of Ice Age America.